Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome back. Um, we are ready to start our phonics lesson. Now, we're going to go back a little bit and just review chart 12. We want to keep up on all of our charts and remembering and practicing our special sounds. So today, I brought out chart 12 for you to do with me. So I'm going to hold up chart 12, okay, and you do it with me. See if you remember all of chart 12. Ready? Begin. Ah, uh, and asleep. A, all in also A, L, B and because B, E, N and enjoy E, N, un and unbutton U, N, er and wrinkle W, R, ud and could O, U, L, D, air and hair A, I, R, uh and push U, Ah, uh, and enough, O U G H. Oh, enough. And enough. Not a. Uh, Miss Bartolome said the wrong sound. And enough, O U G H. Ah, uh, and country, O U. Aaron, carry, A R R. Iron, fire, I R E. Let's just review this one. Remember, O U G H says and enough. O-U-G-H. Okay, boys and girls. Now, who remembers? Go ahead and shout out what a homonym is. What is a homonym? Do you remember? So, a homonym is um, words that sound the same, but they have different meanings. So we have a lot of homonyms that we've gone over in class and a lot of homonyms that are out there. Can you shout out a homonym? So where two words sound the same, but they mean two different things. Shout one out. Good, good. So that homonym has two different meanings. I am thinking of my class and thinking somebody shouted out son, S-O-N and S-U-N. I am thinking that my class shouted out two, like the number two, T-W-O and two, T-O. I am thinking that my class shouted out um, right, right, like your right hand, right, R-I-G-H-T, and I will write my name. Okay, boys and girls. Well, that's the worksheet that we're going to be working on today. So go ahead and get out page 151, page 151, and they are on homonyms. Go ahead and get that out while I share my screen with you. And get your pencil and paper ready to go. Your pencil and eraser and we're going to get through this. It's all on homonyms. Okay. So with our paper, um, there are homonyms and it gives us the definition um, of the homonym. So if you don't know what one is, but you know what the other is, it's going to give us the definition. And then we got to use each word in the sentence correctly. Okay. So let's, let's, let's look at the first one right here. Okay. So let's read that together. A hare is a rabbit. So H-A-R-E. And then we have, I have hair on my head, H-A-I-R, okay? So those are our two definitions. Now let's read this first sentence and fill in the correct spelling for the homonym that we're using. Jen will comb her, Jen will comb her, what? Hair, which hair? Am I going to comb a rabbit? <laughs> oh, I'm going to comb the hair on my head. So I'm going to write H-A-I. 
are. Okay, now let's read the other sentence. The little hare hopped through the grass. Well, is it the little hair, like hair on my head? No, hair like is a rabbit. That's another word for a rabbit. So H A R E. The little hair hopped through the grass. Okay, next definition. We have pair. There's two words for pair. Okay. A pair is things, a pair of things is two. So when you have Think of something you have two of. Oh, there's a hint right there, a pair of socks. Okay, good. And then you have the other pair, which is a pear is a fruit. So let's fill that in. A uh, blank is delicious to eat. A pear is delicious to eat. Which spelling is it? So we have the definitions, two things or a fruit. What's delicious to eat? Okay, write it in. You got it. P-E-A-R. Pear, that's pear. Okay, the fruit. And then the other sentence is, I have a new blank of socks. So socks come in twos. We know that, right? Because you have two feet. So that's gonna be P-A-I-R. Okay, good. All right, the last one. We have the word right, okay? So right, R-W-R-I-T-E, means to make letters or words on paper. And R-I-G-H-T means not wrong. Okay, so um, the sentence is, I will write a story about my pet. So go ahead and you fill in which right it is. I will write a story about my pet. How do we spell that? You write it in and I'm waiting for you. Okay, I will write a story about my pet. So is that writing letters or words, or it means it's not wrong? Okay, I'm gonna give you the answer. Hopefully you got yours, W-R-I-T-E, right. Okay, and the last sentence, is it right to tell a lie? So the word R-I-G-H-T, right, means it's not wrong. Is it right to tell a lie? So that's R-I-G-H-T. Is it right to tell a lie? What do you guys think? No, it is not right to tell a lie. It is wrong to tell a lie. It's always, always better to tell the truth. And even though it may hurt somebody or make someone upset, you feel better with always, always telling the truth. You don't want that lie weighing on your heart and giving you a tummy ache and giving you heartache and making you feel really, really bad. Remember that story we read about um, telling a lie? Who remembers that story? Good, I love that story. So now that we have finished our phonics paper, so we're gonna take a little break and I will see you back here for our math lesson. Bye-bye.